Hello, what is up guys? Evil Duo Sarm here today, back with another Black Desert video. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the most recent event that came to Black Desert on August 5th of 2020. It is the return of the summertime event. Lots of cool stuff from this, including the super clickbait thing that's in this title. You can get your character a nice skimpy bathing suit. And we all know, no matter what gear you have, fashion is the true endgame in any MMORPG. So real quick before we get into the video, show you all the different things you have to do for this event. If you're new to the channel, new to Black Desert, or if you've watched some of these videos and enjoyed the content on the channel, please consider subscribing. It would mean a lot to me, would help to grow my channel, and I would greatly appreciate it. Without further ado, let's get into it. And let's take these patch notes from the top and try and break this down really simply for you. So first, if you go to your in-game mailbox in the bottom right corner of your screen, you see this little mail icon that I'm hovering over here down in the bottom right, click on that, you're going to see a ton of free crap that's in your mailbox right now. Notably, it's a bunch of EXP boosters, some lanterns, but the biggest one is actually going to be on the second page, so make sure to scroll down, and it is this buff compensation that's sitting here. So apparently there was some bug during the maintenance that happened, and every single person in the game is getting five days worth of the secret book of Old Moon. You literally just have to click here and claim it. So make sure to scroll to that second page and pick this up. Do not miss out on this free thing. This is literally like $15 worth of free crap. So now to get started with the bulk of the event here, you're going to need to navigate to the Termian Water Park, which is located right here on the map. So you can see it right here. It's actually got its own little event icon on the map now as well. So it is located northwest of Olvia. So if you know where Olvia is, head on up over there. Or if you don't know where Olvia is, you definitely know where Calpheon is. So just to the north of Calpheon. So right up here, this little beachy area is where you need to go. When you get here, you're going to see tons of quests from NPCs. And I'm going to be honest with you, the majority of them are pretty straightforward. You just talk to them and do whatever they tell you to do. It'll pop up on the right side of your screen, whatever you got to do. Just a couple things to note. You're going to need a fishing rod, so bring a fishing rod with you. But otherwise, I think you're okay and you don't need anything beyond that. So I'm not going to sit here and bore you with the next like 30 minutes of my life of doing quests over here. I believe in your ability to follow quest instructions. If there's anything that's exceedingly difficult, I will come back and provide some additional information. But otherwise, I'm just going to run this out and I will keep a tally mark of how many quests there are that you have to do in this area, as well as all the different rewards. So you can check to make sure that you got everything in the area. Anyway, I'll see you in a few minutes. And literally an hour and a half later, I've finally done everything, found every single thing in here, and I'm going to make it a lot easier to see than the stupid patch notes. So right here is a list of all of the different NPCs that give you quests, as well as their relative location. And I will show you these five different relative locations here in a few seconds. But basically, this table has the quest name, what you got to do for the quest, the rewards for the quest, and any notes or important information that you need to know about it. So this is linked in the description below. Just click it, and it'll make your life so much easier. I even put a column on the left over here so you can put a little X when you're done with the quest. But as far as the event quests going on right now, you're going to want to do all the ones that reward you with Termian Coins, as well as Termian Seals. You're going to need 30 of the Termian Seals to get a bikini or swim trunks for your character, depending on which gender you are. And you can get five per day, so literally six days of doing all of these different event dailies here. Do note that it doesn't take an hour and a half. It takes like 15 minutes. I just needed to put together this table and make sure I had all the information. But anyway, to show you all of these different locations and where they are. So the first location that was on my list is the docks down by the beach. So you can see that there are these docks down by the beach. Pretty darn straightforward. As far as exact location on the map, you're on this side of the inlet over here. Moving up the list, the next location on it was the surfboards. So if you pull a 180 from the docks from the beach, you will see a bunch of surfboards all just like embedded in the ground over here. I couldn't think of a better way to describe this region other than surfboards. So you have a quest over there from that lady under a tent. And then there's also a quest from an NPC that's hanging out right over here. If we continue up and around, we're going to get to the Tiki Hut section because look at all the Tiki Huts. It's pretty self-explanatory. There are a total of four quests to pick up in this region. Obviously, I've already done them, so they're not showing. One quest to note is this one right here. It is a repeatable quest where if you feed it an ancient relic shard, you get a memory fragment, uh, assuming you have any amount of skill in your life. So you can actually make a ton of money off of this quest right here because the difference between the two is like 400,000 silver until the world figures out about this and ends up dropping the market really, really hard. But for now, you can make some cash. Continuing around in this general direction, you will see off in the distance, way out there, a bunch of different sand sculptures, which are actually really cool and are going to be used in a ton of different thumbnails coming up, you betcha. But anyway, there's quite a few NPCs over here. There are three of them. Only one of them rewards you with event quest items, though. It is worth noting that the NPC that you're going to need to exchange all of the seals that you get throughout this event for, for a bikini or swim trunks, is this guy right here, Payo. So Payo right by this little jumping area over here that we'll get to in a second. And the final quest that we're going to do, or that you can do event-wise, is from this NPC, Rose, right here, who's next to this cannon. 
So that's it for all the event quests. They're all listed in that table. Pretty darn straightforward. And look, that saved you reading all of this information here. You're welcome. The only thing I want to point out is that this is what the two swimsuit outfits look like. So if you're interested in picking those up, that's what they look like. If you don't want to exchange those seals for a swimsuit or you don't care about fashion, you can get this really, really cool inside decoration for your house from the same person that gives you the whale quest that's on my list. So this NPC right here, Palong. And this event is actually running for like three weeks. So you can get both of these. You're not limited to just one. You can get both of them. It's just which one do you want to get first? Now, one thing I don't know exactly how it works. It's this stuff right here. Basically, for the Termian coins that you're going to get from this, so the Termian coins that are a drop item as well as rewards from these quests, there's random boxes that spawn, you feed it a coin, and you'll get an item out. So that only happens at night. I didn't do this during night. I don't have any idea where they are or where they spawn. I do apologize. But anyway, that is basically it for this main portion of the event. Now, there is one more event going on, and it is up there on that ledge up there. You see that there diving board up at the top? You can jump off of that diving board all the way at the top of this rock face. And to get up to the top of the rock face, you got to go through this like tunnel area over here on top of this and climb up. And when you get to the top, it will say diving board. You press R on it and then you just jump off and you can dive in. And that's it. And you get random buffs depending on what combination of buttons that you hit. So you see I got an EXP buff. So that's it for the diving event. You can get an EXP buff and then go back to your grinding or whatever you're going to do. And then if you make your way back through that same cave, so here's where we just climbed up a second ago up to the diving boards. If you go a little bit further now, down around to this corner, you will get a new little mini game, a jumping mini game that you can go ahead and do. And for completing this jumping mini game, you're also going to get various buffs. So yeah, I suck at this and fell after like the second tower every single time, but these are the different rewards that you get for it. So depending on which tower you reach out into the distance, you get different rewards from that. So that's the list of the rewards. Highly recommend taking a lawn. That way you can just fly because lawn's OP for this. And it's probably why they're featured in the bikini. But anyway, guys, that is basically it for this event. So those are all the different quests. Once again, just follow through those different areas I just showed you. These are the different NPCs you need to find and talk to. They all have markers above their heads telling you that they have a quest. Do these every single day. You get yourself a swimsuit or a cool decoration for your house or both of them. If this video is going to help you to progress in Black Desert, pick up some cool gear, or if you just generally like the video, let me know in the comment section below. And once again, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. It would help me to grow the channel, and you'll stay updated when new informative content like this comes out. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I will see you at the next stream over on Twitch, the next YouTube video, or wherever I happen to see you. Peace.